Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing good. In this session, we will be discussing about one more new chapter that is structures. So I will be posting a series of lectures on structures. Before getting into the topic, first let us know what is a structure and what is the necessity of a structure. Okay. So far, we have learned one user defined data type that is array, right? What is the use of an array? Array is a collection of similar data items grouped under a single name, right? So for example, if I declare an integer array int a of 5, what can I store in this array? I can store all the integer elements, okay, all 5. Altogether, 5 integers I can store, right? Now, I want a different information to be stored. For example, um, if I talk about a student, I want to store the name of a student, roll number of a student, and which section does he belongs to, what is his GPA. So some different details, different types of data. For example, if I take roll number, it can be an integer. For example, when I talk about the name of a student, it is a string. When I talk about the section of a student, it can be A, B, C, D, E, F, so a single character. Then when I'm talking about GPA, it is a floating point number. Are these are similar type of variables? No. So they all are a different type of data, right? So is there any possibility to group all this different type of variables under a single name? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible with the help of structures. So let us see what is meant by a structure. So in the structure, I just want to store a roll number and then the GP of a student, then name of a student, and then the section he belongs to. I want to group all this dissimilar information or in, in logical terms, I can call it as a heterogeneous data elements. Okay, homogeneous is an array. Heterogeneous data elements belongs to a structure. So the definition of a structure I can give as collection of logically related heterogeneous data elements grouped under a single name. Okay, so this is a structure. So under the structures chapter, we will be seeing what is a structure and how to define it. And then what are the various types of structures and then how to initialize the structure and how to access the elements of a structure. Then we will be discussing about array of structures. Then we will see nested structures then self-referential structures and we will also see the usage of type def okay that's all for this video see you in the next